Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and More. Today we have TNM staging, it is a very small topic. So the TNM uh, system, which is used to describe the anatomical extent of head and neck cancer and is based on the assessment of three basic components. Uh, that is the extent of a tumor, which is denoted by T and the presence or absence and extent of regional uh, lymph node metastasis denoted by N and the final one is uh, the presence or absence of distant metastasis okay so this is a distant metastasis this is nodal it is regional metastasis so let's learn TNM So we'll start with the extent of tumor. So extent of tumor, uh, we have uh, Tx, T0, uh, T in situ, T1, T2, T3, T4A and T4B. Tx is nothing but primary tumor which cannot be assessed. T0 is no evidence of primary tumor. Tis which uh, is carcinoma in situ. T1 is tumor which is uh, 2 centimeter or less okay so 2 centimeter or less in dimension t2 is a tumor which is greater than 2 but lesser than 4 centimeter whereas t3 is mm, greater than 4 centimeter now we have t4a and t4b t4a is moderately advanced local disease that means it invades uh, through cortical bone inferior alveolar now floor of the mouth or skin of face that is uh, chin nose or oral cavity tumor invades uh, adjacent structures through the cortical bone uh, into uh, deeper muscles uh, or muscles of tongue such as genioglossus hypoglossus palatoglossus and maybe even in maxillary sinus so that advanced stage is t4a and t4b is very advanced uh, that means tumor invades masticatory space pterygoid plates or uh, skull base and uh, encases the internal carotid artery so that is about uh, the extent of tumor it is basically the dimension two cent uh, two centimeter two to four more than four and its uh, invasion to the adjacent uh, local structures uh, whereas a uh, uh, nodal involvement which is uh, again nx n0 n1 n2 n2 a n2 b n2 c and n3 nx is regional lymph nodes cannot be assessed n0 is there is no regional node metastasis n1 is uh, metastasis in a single ipsilateral lymph node that is 3 centimeter or less in greater dimension okay that is n1 3 centimeter or lesser in dimension so n1 is uh, ipsilateral lymph nodes ipsilateral means only on one side of the uh, one side uh, not on the contralateral side okay it is uh, occurring on the left side or right side Whereas N2, where the metastasis in a single ipsilateral lymph node and the dimension is more than 3 mm but not more than 6 mm, 3 to 6, uh, not uh, millimeter, centimeter. Or uh, we can uh, see it as a multiple ipsilateral lymph nodes um, but uh, none more than 6 centimeter in dimension or in bilateral or contralateral lymph nodes that is n2 whereas n2a that is metastasis in a single ipsilateral lymph node more than 3 centimeter but not more than 6 centimeter that is various categories of n2 because it includes uh, ipsilateral and bilateral category but the dimension is 3 to 6 centimeter so n2a is single ipsilateral n2b is multiple ipsilateral n2c is bilateral uh, nodal involvement but none greater than 6 centimeter it is all 
3 to 6 centimeter dimension that is the greatest uh, dimension of the nodes is up to 6 centimeter that is n2a 2b 2c 2a is ipsilateral single multiple ipsilateral and this is bilateral n3 is metastasis uh, in a lymph node which is more than 6 centimeter in greatest dimension it is more than 6 centimeter so that is about nodal involvement and uh, the metastasis that is m is very simple m0 or m1 that is distant metastasis is absent distant metastasis is present okay so staging is very uh, simple one but understanding this is little bit tricky uh, in situ is a different uh, concept rather than one two three and four in situ is nothing but uh, where actually there is uh, carcinoma is localized very localized in that position t1 is 2 centimeter this is 2 to 4 this is more than 4 and 4a and 4b are uh, it is uh, extended to invades to uh, local structures and the nodal involvement is 3 centimeter n2 is 3 to 6 centimeter it has three categories ipsilateral single ipsilateral multiple and bilateral whereas n3 is more than 6 cm and m0 and m1 the tnm staging uh, has four stages that is stage 0 1 2 3 4 based on the involvement of t n and m so stage 0 is tumor in situ where the nodal involvement or metastasis is absent stage 1 is t1 that is less than 2 cm and n0 m0 stage 2 is t2 where the dimension is 2 to 4 cm n0 and m0 stage 3 has four uh, types that is four uh, way it can become a stage 3 uh, cancer so it could be t1 t2 t3 with the presence of n1 m0 is anyway not present t1 t2 t3 presence of n1 n1 is 3 cm uh, regional lymph node extension but if it is t3 and n0 also it become stage 3 okay so t3 with the presence of n0 n1 it will become stage 3 rest all t1 t2 with the presence of n1 and m0 stage 4 has three category a b c stage 4a 4b and 4c 4a is we know we have here t4a and t4b t4a with n0 m0 t4a with n1 m0 then t1 t2 t3 with the presence of n2 n2 is 3 to 6 centimeter nodal extension with m0 and t4a with n2 also become stage 4a okay whereas stage 4b is t4b any n m0 or any t n3 m0 and stage 4c which is the most advanced lesion any t any n with the presence of m1 so m1 is only coming here that is a distant metastasis so what is the benefit of this peculiar staging so it always uh, help us to plan the therapy it indicates the prognosis it helps us to compare the result of treatment it facilitate exchange of information between treatment centers and there are lots of limitation for this uh, tnm staging especially with regard to the t staging uh, it is a crude system and tumor size not consistently related to the prognosis and it is debatable mm, uh, the boundaries are debatable where the tumor the t is uh, measuring and it can be difficult to accurately assess the clinical extent and there will be lots of inconsistencies and omissions regarding the nodal staging there will be lots of observer variability and there is no inclusion of immunological status and it gives importance of extra capsular spread so this n2 that is bilateral involvement in place better prognosis than n3
where the large nodes greater than six centimeter so that is a limitation and uh, this TNM staging this current TNM staging uh, which relies on morphology of the tumor that is anatomical site and extent of disease with little or no attention given to the patient factors so patient factors is uh, least considering this TNM staging and so uh, it is uh, helpful uh, definitely it is a helpful method uh, it can give an idea about the uh, therapy its uh, prognosis and uh, sharing of information between health centers is also very helpful though it is having uh, many shortcomings so that is all about tnm staging of uh, oral cancer so i'll come up with a new topic in 10 days and more thank you